in the world is this is a Noah's Ark here. Fireball goes right on through. And we're off in a show match between Boo Academy and Marcos Esports as Tenar, as Tenwar, if I pronounce that right, is in. It is hard mode here as it is a show match in the WCL. This is season six and they are currently accepting signups. So if you want to sign your team up, go head over there. The link will be down in the description. They've got a Discord where you can sign your team up to try to see if you can compete and win this season. Well, good luck as we've got the Siege Barracks with the P.E.K.K.A.s off to the left. Let's take a look at the Eternal Tome. We've got the Rage Gym over there. No Healing Tome. Spiky Ball. Is there an Earthquake? No, there is an Overgrowth because we've seen some Earthquakes being paired in with the King Spiky Ball. They get some skip values towards the end of an attack. But we are going to see the Root Riders pushing their way to this left side into the Royal Champion. With a Poison Spell waiting right next to the Town Hall. Not just one, but two of them on both sides of this Town Hall as the Double Ice Golems are getting lured out. Super Mini is coming out of that Siege Barracks. Royal Champion delayed. That Queen's continuing her way up to the top side. That Queen already did burn ability. I kind of want to see how some of these pros use that Magic Mirror. In what ways will they utilize it? As we have the Super Barbs all around the space. And he sniped that Eagle Artillery just like that because of the overgrowth. Still has the RC ability with the Rage. Two freezes. A bunch of giant bombs look to be on this backside here. But he pops the RC ability. She goes straight for the Town Hall. Loses his Queen. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue, but that Royal Champ is going to try... Oh, wait, wait, whoa, hold on. He's going to freeze up that multi-arch tower. The RC goes down. Wait a second. Wait a second. Things started to disappear because, remember, it is hard mode. And the heroes are weaker. The defenses are stronger. And the troops have died. This was looking like it was crushed, but the giant bombs down there stopped it in his tracks. He drops a... Wait, what? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's uh, okay, okay. Invis, 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 invis. Fireball hits the multi, takes that down. And the arrow. Dude, you don't, if you don't understand, the arrow from the side of a building, it is, it is difficult to fly through from the side. Snipe the town hall, the blimp from the right side. Holy jeez, okay. This base is going down in seconds and this is hard mode. Does have that Specky Ball. Giant Gauntlet for this King. Rockulin's flying up to the top side. Yeti's taking out the right. And that one's going to snipe that Eagle Artillery. Out comes the Clan Castle. Which looks like there's also probably Ice Golems up there. Yep. Ice Golems do come out. As we have the RC Popper ability. But not going to be able to get much there. Makes the Ice Golems invisible. But he did get frozen there. A few more Rockulins they use to send into that Monolith. Still waiting on that King Spiky Ball here. Freeze on the multi. It doesn't skip into the core. It skips all the way around the core there. As he's going to continue his way in. But this is a crushing attack here. In a hard mode. GG to a Boom Academy. A handful of red air bombs there. But that's not going to matter. That Queen with the healers. He already burned that giant arrow. Remember taking out and sniping that Town Hall. But Boom Academy... Mashing that one. The Fireball, Giant Arrow, OP. With healers. So how are you going to utilize the Queen ability right away? Okay. Going to wall break this Queen in. Going to snipe this defensive section here with that enemy Royal Champion. And root up to the top side of this base. Royal Champion's already down. Queen's moving right on through. Taking out that Ricochet Cannon. She's going into the air defense. Ground Skellies are there. We'll distract her a bit. Super Barb's off to the left, and he's going to rage right on through. And there is an Ice Hound up to the top. So the Royal Champ, is she still live up there? I think so. Yep, she's going to get distracted on the Ice Hound. As he did burn the Warden ability, everything in the core is still there, and he's running around. So that's going to be a bit of an issue here. As he will have to come back for that Town Hall. As the Super Hog's coming through, Root Rider's moving to the Ground Expo. Queen reaching over to the bottom side. And the overgrowth did actually overgrowth the invisibility spell tower next to the monolith and the town hall there. Raging to the right with the king abilities. Now pushing into the town hall. The invade is going to activate slowly because of that frozen arrow. And the queen is dead. The town hall, though, is still up. Super Barb's to the left to go for the scatter shot. 
We have a couple more super barbs left. He's waiting. Sends a few archers to the right. Not going to do much there. Okay. He should be fine, right? King ability skips through. Takes that down. He's going to be able to reach over the wall with the giant gauntlet. Take that down. He's going to work into the multi arch tower. And be able to take this down. The Root Rider opens the wall. And it is a three star. It's a little scary there, but he gets it done. Boom Academy is up. By sup. Up is it? What? The. Uh, what in the world is. This is a Noah's Ark gear! Boom Academy's bringing the craziness here! Oh, keep your eyes open. The base is gonna disappear in seconds. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the multi, okay. Down goes the CC. Okay, not a giant air for the town hall, but he cleared that section. And once you remove the clan castle, whew, don't have to worry about that. Keeping that Warden alive. Flame Flinger to the left side. He can pull the Warden up while the Flame Flinger just casually makes his way to the left. Yep, there's the Queen. Gonna pull that Warden up there. There's that Queen's arrow. Okay. Popping her ability already. And some healers popping up through here. Gonna move into the Defensive King. He can easily reach over the wall. Grab this Eagle Artillery. We have the King up top. Pushing right into the defensive king with that frozen... No, I want to... It's the frosty. That's why I'm looking. I was like, he has a frozen arrow? No, he doesn't. King's going to move his way up with a regular wall breaker, a giant, a dragon, a miner, an e-dragon. He's got one of every troop, you know? There's a yeti and a headhunter to snipe the queen. King's going to continue his way off to the right. Going to move into the multi. There is a balloon. Is he going to move? Okay, I was going to say, is there, he's going to use a uh, stone slammer? He can't because he's already got a flame flinger. And the skellies, oh, they perfectly go into the fire spear, so they die there. As the dragon rider tries to snipe the multi, but he's going to lose his healers to the multi-target inferno. Bye-bye, healers. He does have a druid. He's being patient. He's waiting. Multi up top goes down. Overgrows the town hall and the monolith. Still has a root rider, a hog, a pekka. An apprentice warden. A witch. I don't know why he hasn't dropped the witch down on the bottom side just yet. There's the king spiky ball. Skips across. Snipes the air defense to the left. E-Dragon's going to move slowly in. He's got two earthquakes. Which he can't pair with the king spiky ball now that he's already used it. Pack it down to the bottom. Raw champ still has her ability. He can then earthquake. Yep, the town hall. Double earthquakes it to damage it quite a bit. Still got a miner, a baby dragon. There's a rage. Moving right on through. The town hall's going down. Look at this. Opens the wall with a root rider. The king's busting the wall. The mile of is going down to the RC. Drops a miner. Just go straight in. And this is a three star. Using every single troop. Or as many troops as possible. In Clash of Clans. Holy jeez. Look at that. All right. Amar is up. With the Root Riders and Valks yet again here. Well, we saw Boom Academy come in with a Noah's Ark. They're continuing with the roots. Sewer Barbs did find some spring traps on the edge. But there's a jump spell going to give this king access into the poison. Lowly continues his way in. And we've got the roots in between that siege barracks and the queen. With a couple druids following behind. Out comes this clan castle. The eagle artillery is going down. Popping that king spiky ball. Skips across here. Popping the warden ability as well. He's going to get frozen up by these ice golems here. Slow down a little bit. As he continues his way. The king doesn't know what he's going to go for. He does overgrow the town hall. As he's continuing. King comes back to life. As the valkyries are trying to spin right through the core of this base. Continuing his way through. With a handful of super barbarians left to use around the edge. There you go to help distract those. Moving his way around. Does have the RC ability. A rage. Two freezes. To make his way all the way up to the town hall. Wall breaks into the multi arch tower. And he's pushing his way through. With a wizard tower off to the right. Subarb continuing there. RC and our ability. There's a rage to lead into the town hall. Pops the ability. There's the freeze. Town is going down with ease. Two barb onto the wizard tower. That's going down. He's got a one final freeze. Doesn't need it. As that's an easy three star here. Marcos do get the triple. But they do have the fail as well in this match.
GG to a Margupta. Boom Academy. What will you do next? Holy jeez. Okay. Oh, well, it's another fireball. There it is. Hits the multi. Damage to the town hall. The arrow from the bottom side to corner would be nice. But it's slowly repairing and repairing and repairing. Okay. Knock it a fireball. Looks like he's got all the troops here. Oh, there's a red air bomb field. The arrow flies to the right side. Oh. Okay. He doesn't hit the poison spell tower, but he does grab both of the infernos. And the king's down. Wall breaks into here to allow the queen to potentially go that way. Will she? Yeah. No. Wait. Nope. She decides to go up to the top side. The warden, though, he could step back and grab the town hall, but that's back to full health. That queen, oh, took a lot of damage there. The poison got launched. Ice golems come out. Now the king's going through the defensive king. And his king is behind a root rider and a golem, it looks like. With an apprentice warden over there. Now super winning is coming out of the siege barracks. Warden sniping that king with ease. Drops a boulder behind his king to move in towards the scattershot and the monolith. The root rider, though, is going to die off. e to the left. Looks like a testiform is over there. Now we got a Yeti and Ice Golem to the top side, continuing his way through. Already did burn the RC ability, using these troops very specifically here. As he pops that King ability, skips across here. Town Hall goes down, drops a P.E.K.K.A., a Dragon, and a Miner to go into the core of the Monolith. The Warden now is moving in behind as he's over. He's trying to overload the core here. The Super Minion distracting some shots. There is a Freeze under the left. Queen's continuing her way through. Found a Tornado Trap. But he's got it. Noah's Ark strikes again for Boom Academy. Taking this one down. And they are keeping the three stars rolling in. And keeping their advantage over Marco C Sports. We have Marcos back in. And they're continuing to bring the Root Riders in a show match. Roots and roots and more roots. Roots are everywhere. Gonna take out the enemy RC. Pushing right on through. We got an overgrowth. A jump spell. Is he gonna jump the king? How are you gonna utilize this? Looks like he is. Does not have the spiky ball. So that rage vial is gonna help speed that king up into the multi. Out comes the clan castle there. The archers behind the wall does decide to drop a poison. More archers. And a ton of archers are coming out of here. Launches the poison and even more. Holy Jesus. Is there 50 archers inside that clan castle? As he continues his way through. Pushing into the eagle artillery. The archers are finally going down. Only a few left here. As the queen. She goes down to the top side. Uh oh. Hang on here. Wait a sec. We still have the warden ability. He hasn't used that yet. The druids are healing. Some of them are transforming. Moving his way into the backside to the enemy Archer Queen. We do now pop the Warden ability to help protect everything as he continues his way through. With an RC ability left, a couple super barbs. Skeleton, a rage, drops that back in. Skeleton to help provide the distraction. But he needs to move back. The Monolith is going to kill this Warden. He is going to go down. Wait a second. Things are going to die to the explosion of this Town Hall. How is he going to make his way to the backside of the Monolith and the Multi? Continuing through the Multi Archer Tower. And continues with through. Does find a tornado trap. Wait a second. Hold on. RC goes invisible. Gonna pop her ability. Town all goes down, but it can explode. And there's gonna be a lot of damage here. The poison is gonna be deadly. And is this a defense? Defenses are stronger here. Continuing to push his way through, but he's gonna sit through this poison spell. The root rider is gonna die in. Another defense. The roots fail yet again. Rip to the P.E.K.K.A. And boom, Academy with the defenses here. Fireball indeed. The value you can get. Double invis. Okay. Goes to the right side, but he does snipe that clan castle right away. The arrow flies through to pull those healers. We have that queen following behind the golem. Super wall breaks into the multi. Dodges the springs. More springs left and right as he continues to push into the defensive king. You have double overgrowth to completely ignore this town hall. And he can just wrap his way around for this whole attack. As he slowly makes his way through. What in the world? I'm like seeing this animation here. It's like, what? 
the is that from the frosty as we have a dragon rider off the right side to snipe the eagle artillery overgrowth into the town hall pushing his way through the healer on to the Rue Rider and Ice Golem. And now the King with the Yak. And a blimp down the bottom side. He's sniping things left and right around this base. And we have the Balloons. The Yeti actually coming out of the blimp. The friend is boarding behind the King with another Overgrowth to utilize. And... Poisons both get launched. There's the Overgrowth now. Well done. King busts through the wall. Skeleton onto the enemy Queen. Has an earthquake and pair in the spiky ball. Oh, he's got a bam stash up here. So that king is fully healthy. Moving his way through. And this is crushing here. My goodness, look at this. Now he's just got to wait. Just got to chill and wait with the Noah's Ark. Look at that. There it is. Now he can go into the core. There's the freeze. There's the earthquake. A spiky ball skips across. And that is a crushing three-star, Eddie. Really? Really? <laughs> Slows it down, but it doesn't matter. It's a three-star for Boom Academy. GG. And Mark goes her in, and let me guess. It's root. It is. Pretty easy to guess. As we've been seeing it all a day here. With that queen up to the top side. We do not have a spiky ball on this king. Frozen air on the queen there. Flame flicker is going to work through the bottom side. Eagle artillery. King's going to make his way into that Grand Warden altar. Going to continue his way through with like two super wall breakers. He's going to try to bust into this top side up here. Rages up that queen. Freezes it up. Well, yep, she's a goner. Bye-bye, queen. That king has got his abilities. No, he already popped through his ability. I mean, he's a, he was already a giant king. King comes back to life here. Rip to the healers. And there goes the Roots and the Valks and the Apprentice Warden and his Warden. While well, that Flame Fling is going to slowly continue to move through. Doesn't have much health on it. As now the healers have transferred off to the Roots. Moving into the town hall here. No overgrowth. There's a rage. Still waiting on a warden ability. Moving his way in. He needs to activate the town hall. An ice hound comes out of here. Freezes that up. Town hall goes down. Warden ability can go off. And actually, something to think about. If you have a warden healing tome, you could actually let the town hall explosion go off. Wait a second or two if you're going through it. Take all that damage and then warden ability so you can heal back up and last past the town hall. Possibility. But nowadays with an overgrowth where you can just ignore it and come back, it's not as effective. It's been done before. Something to potentially think about, but Marcos with yet another fail here. Losing that queen early up there definitely cost him. Was looking to have that queen continue her charge. And that is three defenses for Boom Academy against these Root Riders. Boom Academy's bases have stopped the Root Riders. And ladies and gentlemen, we have learned how to stop them. If your opponents are using Root Riders against your bases, you should copy these from Boom Academy. And they won't get tripled. Boom Academy's in with their final attack. And it's Dragons. Nine dragons, two E dragons, three earthquakes, and he's gonna giant arrow something. Ooh, okay. Double E dragons this start. Two barb, queen off to the left. There's the arrow. Is he gonna earthquake the monolith? Uh, wait, no. Hold on. Okay. The builder huts are gonna slowly repair the clan castle there. Skeleton spell off to the right by the RC. And the king over there. Rages up these dragons. Overgrowths the town hall. Has a couple super barbs left. Continuing with that queen to the top side as he continues the path through. Some tassels popping up to the bottom. As that king still has his ability. Oh, he's using... He, I see. The earthquakes are meant for the very end for the king ability. 
The spiky ball. Aha! That's what it is meant for. I thought you were going to arrow. Okay. Ready? Ready for it? Wait for it. Here we go. Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. Spiky ball! Hit it! Spiky ball! Goes right on through. <laughs> and there you go, my friends. That's what the earthquakes were for. The spiky ball flies through and Boom Academy gets the triple. And they get the perfect war against Marcos Esports. And they have learned how to stop the Root Riders in their tracks. GG to Boom Academy.